Hi, welcome to another short video. So we know that OLS is blue and if one of the GM assumptions, that is the cost Markov assumptions is violated, then OLS is no longer blue. But what exactly do we mean when we say that OLS is blue? And more importantly, why does it matter whether or not OLS is blue? So in this short video, I'm going to quickly explain what each of these letters stands for. So the B stands for best, L stands for linear, U stands for unbiased and E stands for estimator or estimate. By the way, I have explained each of these terms separately in another short video. So if you want, you can watch those videos. But in this short video, I'm simply going to explain why it matters if OLS is no longer blue. So the first thing to remember is that B stands for best. And the confusing part, like I already mentioned, is that we really don't know what it means for OLS to be best, right? I mean, what really does it mean when we say that OLS is the best estimator? So in the world of econometrics, best basically means the most efficient. And now you must be wondering what exactly does it mean to be efficient, right? So we know that best means efficient, but what does efficient mean? So efficient simply means to have the least or the minimum possible variance. Now, the important thing to note is that, as you may recall from my other video, I have already explained that in the presence of multicollinearity, OLS is still blue, right? So it stays best. But in the presence of heteroscedasticity, OLS is no longer blue and in the presence of autocorrelation as well, OLS is no longer blue. That is, we simply drop the B. Now the question arises, why do we drop the B? So just remember that in the presence of multicollinearity, as I've already explained, and if you haven't seen that video, you can watch that now. So in the presence of multicollinearity, the T tests are still valid because OLS is still blue. But in the presence of heteroscedasticity or in the presence of autocorrelation, OLS is no longer blue, it's just blue. So why this matters is because the standard errors are no longer valid in the presence of heteroscedasticity or autocorrelation. So if somebody were to ask you why does it matter whether OLS is just blue or whether it's blue, well, you can simply answer that if, for example, in the presence of heteroscedasticity or autocorrelation, where the standard errors are invalid, then in this situation, OLS is no longer blue and this matters a lot because when the standard errors are invalid, then you must remember that standard errors are a component in the computation of the t-stats, right? So when the standard errors are invalid, then the t-stats are also obviously going to be invalid. So this is why it matters whether OLS is blue or whether it's just blue.